Hi guys, so this is going to be my what's in my hospital bag that I have right here. Sorry it's a little late, it's just been really hectic lately. We're trying to sell our car, we've had a lot of doctor's appointments. Um, I've just been exhausted because exhaustion just hit me really hard. So I apologize that the video is a little bit late, but I do have it now. I am officially in the third trimester, we did make it. Now we're just, it's a waiting game on her coming out and then when I get my stitch removed. So I should be getting my stitch removed between 34 and 36 weeks. Um, because I'm 30 weeks now, that's like four, five, six weeks away, depending. Uh, I'm also going to hope that I get induced so that instead of getting my stitch removed, possibly not going into labor right away, then having to go home, wait a week or a few days or two weeks or three weeks or four weeks or et cetera, how long, and just randomly waiting for my water to break. Um, I think it would be more convenient to just have my water be broken at the hospital right after my stitch is removed um, so that I don't have to leave. The whole COVID virus thing is still going on, so everything is still kind of crazy with the hospitals, and I just want to make it a little more convenient and easier for them. Now, I do not have my OBGYN or MFM's permission to be induced yet. I will have to talk to them about that on my 32 week appointment which is on June 15th. So I still got some time before I figure all that out. I will let you guys know as well as me. Um, I'm hoping to record everything. My camera and the tripod that it's on right now will be brought with me. They are not in the bag but they will be brought with me so hopefully I can record everything. And yeah, so I'm just going to go through my bag of what I have right now. In it um, this is as far as I know everything that I will be bringing with me there are some things in here that the hospital will provide but I brought my own version of it um, because the hospital usually provides standard stuff uh, anyways but like some of it's not that great so I'd rather be more comfortable seeing as this is the last time hopefully <laughs> that I'll be having a pregnancy and going through labor and everything I just want to make it uh, a better experience for me <laughs> and I didn't even prepare a hospital bag really when I had Leo I had some stuff in there like a blanket an outfit and um, a nursing bra I think that was like literally it <laughs> so this bag is way more advanced than what I had I have the car seat ready and whatnot so this bag came from Walmart everything that you're gonna see in this bag is from Walmart, Target, or Amazon, so if you're wondering where I got anything, um, that's where I got it from. I might be able to link you guys down below if you guys are looking for a specific item. I might be able to find it and give it to you. Just ask me which item it is and I'll, I'll try to provide the links. So, moving on. <laughs> we are opening it. And the first thing that I have is some samples of some nursing pads and breast storage milk bags. Um, they are able to provide me with a breast pump in the hospital as far as I'm, I'm aware. And then I could also pump, uh, when I'm in the hospital for staying longer than expected or whatever, I have that opportunity. And this is a sample pack that I got from one of the, uh, free boxes that you sign up for, the welcome baby registry boxes that you can find on like Walmart, Target, etc. So I'm bringing this because it might work for me. And then I also got a nipple shield. Now when I had Leo, I didn't even know that these existed. When I had Leo, they provided me with one. Um, but I bought my own just in case they don't because I did move states. Who knows what they're going to have and what they're not going to have. When I was breastfeeding Leo, I could not breastfeed him without a nipple shield. It just was not going to work for me. And now that I've had a breast reduction, who knows what will work. So I'm bringing this just because I don't know what they have. And I really recommend these if you guys have sensitive nipples or if you have problems breastfeeding, this might help. Um, but that's all I have in the front part of the bag. The top part has clothes, so I think I have two or three different outfits in here, and hats and socks, yeah. So I have a standard 
preemie onesie just in case she does come early or if she is super small I have this prepared for her to come home in um, there is a pair of pants that I do plan on putting in here which I don't think I did but there will be a pair of pants that go with this um, with any of them they're just gonna be a standard white pair of pants I have this one this is a newborn size I thought this would be super cute for pictures so I'll be bringing this one and I have another one just in case I change my mind. This one is a little more sentimental because this was the last outfit that I bought for my last pregnancy. So if this is the first outfit she wears, I think I'll have a little bit um, stronger of a connection to the fact that I'm having, I had an, another baby and she's alive and all that sort of stuff. This one also comes with legs, whereas the other ones don't. So if it's too cold, I might just put her in this anyways, regardless of uh, sentimental value or anything like that. But I have this outfit ready as well. And then I have two pairs of white socks, a hat that matches the rope in here that I will show you guys, and the swaddle. And then I have a hat that I made as well. So I have two different hats in here and everything. It has been cleaned and is ready to be put on her. Um, if I have the chance, if we're still playing the waiting game, I might wash it like the day before my stitch is removed or something, just in case. Um, trying to remember what else I have in here. In the side pocket over here, we have some wipes, just in case. Um, you never know what happens. Leo might make a mess as well, like when we're traveling or whatever. If he's able to come, I'm not sure. Um, those are just backup wipes, just in case. And as far as I know, there's nothing on this side. It's a thermal thing. I will be using this bag after my birth as well. Uh, like after she, or after she's born and I start like actually traveling with her and everything, this bag will be in use is what I meant to say. Um, and then we move on to the bigger part which I have some swaddles. I have a receiving blanket here from Burt's Bees. This is really, really soft and really comfortable. And then I have a swaddle here, which is a huge swaddle, which is a little warmer. Um, this one I got from Amazon. It's from the brand Toby. It's really, really cute. Either I got it from Amazon or I got it from Ross. I'm not sure. Um, we have my swaddle from my robe set that I have so that she matches me right away when we're all comfy in the room waiting to, you know, leave. And then I have a robe for me after birth. I was considering getting a nursing, um, like a gown, because the hospital provides you with a gown. And these ones also come, there. there's a different set that you can buy that has a gown um, that has nursing abilities and everything, but I thought long and hard about it and I do want her to have immediate skin to skin with me and I just really don't see the need to buy a gown that could possibly get blood all over it or fluids or whatever and then not really be able to use it after I actually give birth if I have a VBAC. Hopefully I have a VBAC. So I just got the robe so that after birth when they tell me that I can change and shower or whatever I have this <laughs> to calm down and cool down in. Um, I might bring a little like robe uh, nightgown with it as well but I'm not too sure about that yet. I need to put a change of clothes in here but I'm not really too worried about that either. <laughs> um, we have some mommy diapers in here so after birth I'm expecting to bleed and have a bunch of things come out of me so I got my own um mommy diapers I'm gonna call them for after that because the ones that I got at the hospital that I gave birth to Leo in uh they were awful they were really really bad so I got my own um, just because these ones are more comfortable. I've heard a lot of women um, rant about these. If you guys want to know what they are, I'll link them down below. Um, but you can find them at Walmart. I have a pacifier and another nipple shield in here, just in case. They have both been sterilized and cleaned. 
Um, the pacifier is something that I'm not against using. Um, and then I have a rainbow blanket, which I made this myself. Um, I tie-dyed it, and it's just a huge rainbow blanket that I'm going to try to take pictures of her in. So I'm just, I'm excited for this. <laughs> but she is my rainbow baby, so this blanket does belong to her. Um, both my babies have a blanket that is sentimental so that they have it. Leo's was not handmade, handmade by me, but it is very sentimental because we used it the most and it was the first one that we brought him home in or had him in. So I'm keeping that one as well as this one. So yeah, and, and that's it. That is everything that is in my hospital bag. Um, as far as I know, I should be breastfeeding, I shouldn't need bottles, I shouldn't need anything else. The only thing, like I said, that I probably will need to put in here is a change of clothes and a pair of baby pants for her, just in case we decide to change the outfit. So, that's everything that I have. I hope you guys enjoyed this video again. If there's anything specific that you guys want me to share with you guys and give you the link to i will try my best to find it i am looking forward to having my baby girl i am 30 weeks as of today actually and um it's just it's crazy she's kicking me all the time and i feel super large <laughs> and um still on progesterone still just taking it easy and relaxing and everything's ready for her we're ready for her but she's not allowed to come out until she's fully baked so um yeah it's it's crazy to me that i'm actually gonna have her we do have a name picked out i don't know if i mentioned that in the last video but we do have a name picked out now i have a middle name and her whole name has been picked out so i will be announcing that in a separate video after her birth uh, like a name reveal thing um but if you already know the name I know a couple people already do please do not share it in the comments try and keep it quiet because I do want to kind of like share it with YouTube separately and um that's it that's all that this video is so I hope you guys enjoyed be sure to like comment subscribe whatever the next video that I will have is probably my 32 week checkup and then the video after that will be my stitch removal and labor or labor hopefully and labor um and then we'll go from there my mom will be here when I get my stitch removed and then when I go into labor hopefully so all of that's all planned and yeah <laughs> I'm rambling so I'll say goodbye now uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you for watching I appreciate it I'll show you guys my baby bump real quick so this is how big I am as of now my belly button has popped <laughs> but yeah we're looking mighty big so again thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video bye